I, know, I vividly remember that uh, in the Chicago Sun-Times had a, a, a pullout section called the Parade, and they of, often featured artists in all different areas. And there was a feature on the Ellis's in the Parade magazine. And I thought, I mean, I, I have to study with them. They were with the Sadler's Wells Ballet in London. They knew Margo Fontaine, another <laughs> idol of mine. And uh, I, I knew that I would get the proper technical training there, which I have to say is, is real, what I came away with. We really didn't perform very much. I was, I was active in more like high school and some college productions, but I never really danced with the Ellis's. It was more about learning the proper technique, which I will say, uh, when it comes to critiquing, I understood very well, you know, what the dancer should look like. I, I mean, you know, I think it's all about craft and technique, but also expression. So I, I, I felt it always had to be a balance of, okay, maybe the toe isn't that pointed, but you know what, this artist is phenomenal. <laughs> You know, so I couldn't get too caught up in technique. I always found that I was balancing things. When I was in high school, I was the editor of my <laughs> newspaper, and I started a whole section on dance and theater reviews, and <laughs> sort of appointed myself the lead critic. <laughs> but <laughs> and, and I would go, like I would review performances of ABT or plays at the Goodman, or. Uh, light opera works when they started. They're now music theater works, but I get my own tickets and I would just go and and you know come back home and I I'd start writing, and uh, then you know I think it was a nice balance of having the strong writing skills combined with dance experience and dance background and a great love for the art form.